The humble Goblin Rio loved up and down the land from its first introduction in 1994 to its eventual demise in 1995. Low cost, low cleaning ability, low quality, but most of all, low cost. How can you take something so cheap and essentially so rubbish and make it worse? Surely that's not possible. Hmm. Hoover. Who better? <laughs>to take this Hoover service product book and I'm just going to place it there because we are going to refer back to this very shortly. Now, the Goblin Rio, and I, can I just say, I know I did promise no more goblins on the channel for the foreseeable future, but you know, it's me. Now, we're not actually looking at the Rio in this video, it's an example of the cheap budget vacuum cleaner. This one is actually branded as a Goblin 1000, not actually as a Rio, uh, because this is actually the very last version of Rio that we got in the UK. And unbelievably as well, I just saw earlier that um, it's got 1995 stamped on its bum. And I actually remember these being for sale in uh, the local swip shop down in, down in Cornwall back in 95, and I even remember the price. They were £44.95p. And what a bargain. What a bargain you got for your £45. You got some plastic, you got a motor, and a couple of filters. What more could you possibly need? Oh yeah, and a really cheap tool, tool, tool kit. Tool set? Tool kit. Now, the Rio really dominated the market for the budget cleaners uh, between 84 and 95. They were so popular. Goblins sold an absolute shed ton of them. They were everywhere, absolutely everywhere, because they were so cheap. And they were incredibly, pop incredibly popular with elderly people as well. I know that's a bit of a, probably not politically correct or something like that, but who cares. Uh, but they were, they were you know, really light, you could chuck them around, whee! And yeah, just, you know, look at this, look at this, look at that, it's brilliant, ah! You can't do that with a um, Sensitronic Mark III, can you? You take your head off, frankly. But look at this, it's just brilliant, it's just so light, and it's in incredibly easy to use, and very, very simple. Look, I can hold it with one hand, look at that. So, other manufacturers were going, hmm, there's a budget market here. We need to get into it. And one of those was Hoover. Now, <laughs> Hoover, God bless them. Around this, this kind of time, 1989, 1990, they weren't the best. They would kind of lost their way. Um, the machines weren't the best by any stretch. And to be honest with you, they were really going downhill by that time. So they launched a budget range of cleaners. One of those machines is the Hoover Sprite, and I'll put a link up somewhere around here so you can see my video on the Sprite. Now, the Sprite was an upright machine, so they also wanted to make a cylinder. And I have Hoover's 1989-1990 budget cylinder vacuum cleaner in this box. One came up on eBay, um, thank you very much to my friend Ryan for sending me the link to it. And of course, I had to buy it. I had to buy it because I don't own one. I don't think I've ever owned one. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, I really need that machine. So let's put our Rio down here for a second. And we'll open this box up because what I wanted to show you is just, oh, <laughs> Oddly, it doesn't feel like there's much packaging in this box. I mean, look, you can see how tiny this box is. There's some, most of the boxes that I bring on this channel are like up here somewhere. Don't wave knives around. They're up here somewhere. This is a tiny little box. Look, wee! So, yeah. Let's get into it. Let's have a look. I hope it survived because, as I say, there's not much packaging in there. I don't think, anyway. Um, we'll get it open and we'll have a look. 
Oh, I've been really looking forward to showing you one of these. I've been looking for ages actually, ages and ages. And there is one, there's one other one on eBay, uh, but they want £45 for it plus postage. I thought that's a bit much. This was £29, £29 with postage, so that's much more reasonable. Oh yes, as I thought, absolutely no packaging whatsoever. Literally thrown in a box and it's broken. Of course it's broken because there's no packaging. Right, okay. Ugh, idiots. So all we got with it is a hose, unfortunately. There's no other tools and that really annoys me because I did have the tools for, for one of these, but I threw them out. How stupid. I would like to introduce you to, oh God, it's falling apart. Hang on, bear with. Hoover's budget machine of 1989. The jet! Way! Look at that! The Hoover jet! Oh my goodness, it has been a long time since I've seen one of these. I tell you what, guys, I tell you what, even though it is utterly terrible, it has survived remarkably well by coming in a box with absolutely no packaging in it. Absolutely no packaging. Idiots. Um, it has taken a bit of a knock here. You might be able to see it, but just there, you can just see that it's been knocked a bit. So, I can't believe how small it is. I don't re remember the jet being as small as this, but yeah, it's really tiny. I'm just gonna put it here, look, there we go. There we are. Ah, oh, Hoover jet, that's amazing. This is the luxury model. And that's a really funny thing. This is the luxury version of the jet because this is the 1000 watt twin speed version. It's got a two speed switch here, got speed one and Speed, I'm dreading turning this on. I'm dreading turning this on, I really am. We'll have to have a look inside first. We'll take the dust box off um, to have a look before we start actually turning it on, giving it some power. Um, yeah, it's very scratched. It's not in great condition, but then it was only 29 pounds. Now let's have a look on this bum and let's have a look and see what we've got here. So, this is model S4412. Uh, 4412, oh wow, God, this one, this particular machine is from April 1993. That's really late, actually, that's really late. Um, and it looks like this is number 180 of that, of, of, of April. It's the 180th machine they manufactured in April of 93. I'm surprised that it's quite so late, actually. I thought it would be earlier th than that. And it's so basic. You, uh, you, you can't tell on camera, obviously, but the plastic is so cheap. It's so unbelievably cheap. Um, so yeah, we've only just got the hose, which is the same hose that um, the later Porter Power had. And that, that's what really pees me up about this, because I had the rods and the floor tool from a late Porter Power that when I moved to Wales for full time, um, they got put in the bin. And I, sh I knew I should have kept them. At the time I said I should keep those, but I didn't keep them. And that's really stupid, but there we go. So we just got the hose, but it's just a standard 32 mil fitting. So we can find some tools to fit on the jet. So that's fine. Now I just want to read you something from the Hoover service book. So this is the 1991 book. Um, and this is actually mentioned numerous times throughout numerous versions of these books. So in the February 1990 service update number six, it says S4410 slash two jet. You may come across situations where the motor housings on the above cleaners are distorted through exposure to excessive heat. It should be noted that this is not normally as a result of, mo of motor failure but is more likely extended use of the cleaner in a closed suction situation. I've been in those. E.g. a blocked filter or long period of crevice tool usage. In order to effect a permanent solution to the problem, two new packs are introduced. 680589 for model S4410 and 680590 from model S4412. Each pack contains a modified dust cup, motor casings, and gasket. 
It is important that all the components included in the kits are fitted in order to, pre to prevent a reoccurrence of the problem. So basically, what Hoover is saying is th the early machines, they just used to melt. They just melted because the plastic they were made of was so awful that they melted. And all of this area, and I have seen this, especially on, on, on the top grill, it all distorts and it melts and it just becomes a horrible lump of muck. It is just ridiculous. So yeah, they introduced new mouldings with better quality plastics to stop their machines melting. The customers would go out and buy, buy this cleaner. They try and vacuum their house and by the end of it, they have a puddle of melted plastic. Brilliant. That's brilliant, isn't it? Well done, Hoover. Well done. Slow clap for that one. The Rio may have been bad, but it didn't melt. All right, maybe some of them, maybe some of them maybe got a little bit distorted around this area here, but they didn't melt into puddles of plastic, unlike Jet. It's just, oh my God, how could you take this and make it worse? Hoover did it. Well done, Hoover. Fantastic. So as a comparison now, let's just check out these machines. Let's see, let's see how they come apart and what's inside them. I think you're going to say to me, hmm, pretty sure Hoover did some copying here. Right, so the Rio, undo two clips the side of the dust box on the jet, release one very flimsy, I mean very, very, very flimsy, that's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Whee! The willy! <laughs> little catch there. And then you can remove the dust boxes. Oh, right, so dust box and dust box. Oh my god! Wow! That's so similar, isn't it? Would you believe that? Oh, and look! Circular filters. Circular filters. Runners, where there should be wheels. Hmm. Okay. Surely there can't be any more sim- Oh, hang on a minute. Massive filter. Massive filter. Oh, look at that. Wow, what a surprise. So you mean to say that you take this filter out of the Rio, like that, in order to empty it. So you've got like a dust box, um, a nappy filter. Now surely, surely it couldn't be the same w with the jet. No, no. Oh, oh, I don't, wow, oh my God. Would you, that's, that's shocking. That I never expected that to happen. <sighs> There's a date stamp down there. Can I see what that was? Oh, hang on. 89. That's interesting. This piece of plastic was manufactured in 1989, but the machine has the serial number that dates it to 93. So they must have produced an awful lot of these dust boxes and just kept them in storage. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, you kind of put it back together like this. So you. Well, I mean, all right, the jet has got a couple of hooks on the top there, but they don't really do much. And then you clip that down again. That is so weak, that little clip there. Um, and then you take the Rio's dust box and you place it on top, like so, and do up the side clips, and it's back together. Now, you know, you would never think in a million years that these machines were in any way exactly the same, would you? I mean, it, they are, they are exactly the same. They are exactly the same principle. Hoover copied Goblin. I mean, of all the companies in the world not to copy, it's Goblin, but they did it because it's Hoover and they didn't care. They didn't care. Now, I think what'd be quite cool is if you come down a bit closer, we'll um, plug this machine in and uh, see if it works. Right, here we go.
a bit closer now so we can see it in all its glory and I can actually show you now so that you can see how um, scarred up it is it's not in the best conditions but I think we can save it I thought oh, yeah I think we can do something with it there's the there's the damage hopefully you can see that yeah there we go um, and there's the ratings plate rating sticker so the big question now is does it work so are you ready I'm gonna press the button That's amazing we've got a working jet guys that's so cool i don't know if you saw it then probably mm, there's like foam that being spewed out the top uh, it's, it's very dirty anyway but there should be a foam filter here and actually you can just about see the remnants of it so yeah there was a piece of foam that went un underneath here that has pretty much degraded to nothing over time and there's very little of it left a little bit just enough to be poofed out the top so that's cool that's cool i'm i'm quite pleased with that and I, I tell you what the one thing the one thing that i do quite like about jet is how you store the cable you see there's this little cut out here on the top and there's an indentation down the side here sorry on its bum here you actually wrap the cable like this way so you wrap it around the machine in that kind of fashion like that Whereas most machines, it sort of gets like wrapped around that way. Jet does it different. Jet is different. Yeah, and you kind of wrap the cable up like that. And that's how, that's how you store it. It's pretty cool. It's like the only cool thing on this entire cleaner. Well, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what to say, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just like, oh my God, these are... Oh. I mean, you can, you can forgive... You can forgive the Rio for its badness, its awfulness, because it was just a cheap machine. Uh, it was designed and built from, from the ground up to be a budget cleaner and to be absolute, as basic as it possibly could be. And it was pretty much a tra trailblazer, really. You know, in 1984, if you wanted a, a cheap, compact cleaner, you got a Rio. And you can't really complain too much. What you can complain about is Hoover just outright copying Goblin and creating this unbelievably terrible version of, of the Rio. It's a Rio, it's a Rio. You know, let's not joke here. Let's not f fool ourselves into thinking that it's anything other than what it is. But this was more expensive. It was. I think, I, I've got in my mind, this was about £69 for this cleaner. Um, obviously, the, the the single speed version was cheaper. But, yeah, I just think it was like £69. And in comparison to the Goblin at 45 that's expensive for something that just melted on your living room carpet. It's unforgivable. And... I know I've done quite a few of like the worst vacuum cleaner ever videos on my channel. This cleaner, this cleaner is really one of the worst. It's it's Hoover at their worst. It's Hoover at their their most we don't care point. We don't give a toss. We don't care. We're just going to sell something. We're just going to try and make some money. And it's really disappointing. From where they were to where they where they went, oh, it's heartbreaking, really. But there we go. That's enough waffling on. I think what we'll do in a future video is get the jet cleaned up, try and find some appropriate tools for it as well, and give it give it a go. I might do a video of actually taking it apart so we can see inside because I think it would be well not interesting per se it would be cool to see in, inside one because i haven't seen one of these for a long long time and i'm pretty sure that you guys probably haven't either so yeah we'll take it apart we'll have a look see if we might be able to improve it 
the only way we could improve it is by throwing it on a fire, but we're not going to do that because it's going to enjoy its retirement with us here um, and all of its brothers. So that's enough waffling on from me. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to do the usual, commenting, subscribing and liking. I always appreciate hearing from you. And me and the Jet and the Rio will see you in a fu future video. You take care. Bye. Bye. Aww.